welcome to Abstract Boss. Today I'm going to be painting my windows and if you would like to figure out how to do that for your own windows at home, then stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. Today I'm going to be painting my windows, but before I do, I want to go ahead and give you guys a couple tips and tricks to work through it because I've had a lot of questions in my inbox about how I clean them and what I use. It's just normal acrylic paints and I use normal brush brushes and all of that. The cleaning at first, it took me a little while to figure out, but really all you need is Dawn dish soap and water, mix it together, get the painting wet, and then use a razor to scrape off the paint. So I have not had any issues with it scratching my window or anything like that. So I have found that to be the best route for me. And I just thought I'd share that with you. Now, when you are starting, you want to make sure that you do your outline in dry erase marker. The reason I do this is because you cannot pile colors up on top of each other on the window. You can do it if it's fully dry and you're doing just a super quick stroke. But if you do a couple strokes, that paint reactivates the paint underneath and then it sort of bubbles up and will create you know, just a bunch of everything. You just don't want it, trust me. So I'm gonna be utilizing um, pictures that I got online. This one will be the main big one. And this is the same thing. I just have these for like the outside because I have three parts of my window. You can kind of see that here. There's just so much light going on. And this is, I think it's from H. Bush. I think if I read the name right, now y'all can see it. I just wanted to give the proper credit and I couldn't find um, who had done these originally. So if that person is it, there you go. Uh, if it's not, I'm sorry. If you are the proper credit person who started these beautiful paintings, then please just message me or comment and I'll put you in my description box. Okay, now um, that should be it. So make sure you have a dry erase marker, your acrylic paints, your brushes, water, paper towels, um, and that's about it. And then you just get going. I definitely highly recommend the dry erase marker. It helps out so, so much, especially when you're doing something like this to where it's on top of the orange. You wanna make sure that that's already drawn out so you don't have to try to do that after you've filled the pumpkin up with orange. So that will help you drastically if you decide to do your windows at home. All right, let's get to it.
I hope you all enjoyed my windows. And I wanted to share a little something with you. I am on TikTok now, and I'm gonna show you guys a quick clip of the videos that I like to make. So I'll actually show you the clip that I made with these windows while I was recording this. And the big thing is, is I had to take out the audio though. So if you want to watch the TikTok videos, just go to TikTok and search abstract boss and you'll find me very easily. Oh my gosh, a floating hair. That was crazy. Did you see that? I don't know if you've seen it, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys a quick clip there. Ah, somebody floating it. This is what happens when you have a husky. I know you guys can see that now. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Well, if you liked my video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.